Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we got the crypto market today, Bitcoin trading at 83.03, Ethereum 178.55, and XRP 0.248. Doing all right, a little bit of green here. The market cap is at 220.7 billion, and Bitcoin dominance down uh, towards 67.6. Uh, nothing really to see here on the charts. This is Bitcoin on the daily. Um, Bitcoin still trying to get out of this... Uh, you know, still trying to make its way up slowly, but surely we have reduced volume here. And XRP is uh, following, uh, you know, just, just kind of, you know, after making its way up, just kind of hovering in here again, reduced volume, nothing really occurring with uh, regards to trading. Uh, but on Twitter, there's a lot going on. This from Ant1, that's at Ant1596949544 on Twitter. And he posted this article here with regards to Ripple, uh, launches XRP developer platform. So Ripple, has uh, launched a developer platform to help third parties build new products using its private cryptocurrency XRP. Built by Ripple as the open developer platform for money, the Spring developer platform aims to make it easier for third party coders to send and receive payments by building on the XRP ledger and leveraging ILP as a bridge to any currency, fiat, or blockchain. Payments today are broken, states Ripple. By way of explanation, they can take days to arrive and operate in a maze of siloed networks. This is because traditional payment rails were not built to meet today's business and consumer demands for reliable, fast, convenient, and low-cost payments. The time for change is now. In the same way the internet unlocked economic growth through democratization of information, the internet of value will unlock economic value through global access and digitization of money. So guys, this is for developers to continue to build upon the uh, Ripple blockchain. Uh, continuing along, I'm sure you guys saw this uh, GitHub news, also from Ant1 on Twitter. With regards to Coil and GitHub, so GitHub collaborates with Coil to enable interledger deposits. So this according to an official post by GitHub on October 1st. Coil is a content monetization platform. The goal of this partnership is to enable a new interledger deposit system and allow content creators to earn from their websites. So again, pushing this idea of web monetization and uh, content creators, we've moved online to view our content. There's a whole new generation. I was just talking to my sister about this yesterday who uh, just recently had a child. Uh, kids now are moving their focus online, whereas before, uh, you know, my generation and generations previous, we all watched television to get our fix. And now it's not like that. And more people are going to the web, but how do you monetize on the web? Well, Coil is a new way to do that. And now GitHub is introducing a way to integrate that as well. So GitHub has designed a means of rewarding creators using crypto. Uh, GitHub CEO Anej Punjarkar commented on the partnership. He said, money streaming is here with a bright future ahead for web monetization and a growing interest in the Interledger protocol. We are writing a new chapter with Coil. This is the start of a great partnership. Together, we will bring this technology to a broader audience. GitHub's original design was for XRP. However, currently it serves as a wall wallet uh, for other cryptos guys as you can see here. Uh, I will link this article in the description if you want to read it further. So we got the spring news developers able to uh, build on the platform. We've got the GitHub news and now also the BitPay news. BitPay to natively support XRP by the end of 2019 coming up really soon guys. We're already in the fourth quarter so uh, this is great. While Ripple has been focused on establishing dominance in the cross-border payments market, XRP supporters have remained patient to witness the tokens growth in terms of trading value and use cases. This vision finally materialized as Coil. Again with Coil, the crypto-based content monetization platform announced its latest partnership with one of Ripple's latest initiatives. The news was made public through Ripple's official tweets. So uh, Ripple says Ripple has partnered with BitPay to enable thousands of businesses to accept XRP for payments and the ecosystem keeps growing, guys. Coil highlighted on its official website about its vision to natively support XRP, which will enable thousands of businesses to accept XRP for payments through BitPay's merchant processing and cross-border payments platform safely, securely, and compliantly by the end of 2019. It further mentioned, this will allow global businesses to accept XRP without any need for integration or enhancements. Additionally, BitPay's, wallets users, uh, BitPay's wallet users will be able to store, use, and send XRP 
in the BitPay wallet. Then they talk about down here, the BitPay wallet also uh, able to integrate with Spring, which is aimed to enable easier system integration for developers, which we had talked about earlier. Uh, on the side note, the ever rising acceptance of cryptocurrencies through such initiatives instill confidence in the market and removes the barrier to entry for consumers to engage with digital assets in a tangible and practical way. Tangible and practical, guys. This is what I find interesting and what I think is very, very important. We are starting to see an ecosystem build for, you guessed it, the mainstream masses, okay? They want to make cryptocurrency integration into real life as seamless and easy as possible. And this is why we're seeing all this. Cryptocurrencies used to be for geeks and nerds and then investors uh, who may have uh, some insight on uh, new technology such as you and I. But eventually it will come to the mainstream and we're starting to see it slowly but surely. Uh, the reason I say that is because of this. So this from Investments Perspectives at Backup Bradley on Twitter posted this with regard to Coinfield. And if you guys don't remember, Coinfield uh, did launch an XRP validator or rather is in the process of doing so. Coinfield has announced today the platform's XRP validator has been included in Ripple's trusted UNL. Okay, so they have done it and now it's included in the trusted UNL. So UNLs are the list of transaction validators a given participant believes will not conspire to defraud them. Congratulations, Coinfield. You are not deemed shady by Ripple. So Coinfield's team has been working on a new project for the past six months. So this is what I found interesting. Not so much this project, but it's what I'm going to talk about next. So uh, they're building this project. Fine. It's going to be announced here. Uh, but this is what the CEO of Coinfield has to say. This new ecosystem is the most sophisticated project ever built on top of XRPL. And it is the best use case for that. We believe this will be a big step forward for the whole industry and the mass adoption of XRP blockchain, guys. He is suggesting that mass adoption is inevitable. It is going to occur for the XRP blockchain. And this is the CEO of Coinfield. Obviously have had discussions with Ripple. Uh, one of the trusted, I believe they are the trusted XRP liquidity provider in Canada. I'm not sure. But Bob Rass is stating this flat out. Uh, so he believes that this is a big step forward for the whole industry and the mass adoption of, XRP, of the XRP blockchain. So not hiding his sentiments about this. Um, the mass adoption of the XRP blockchain clearly will happen. Bob Rass sees it. He's even mentioning it in his, uh, in his statement here. And it's the little things, guys. The little things you need to pick up on. Why would anybody ever say mass adoption of the XRP blockchain, especially if you're in uh, Bob Rass's shoes? The CEO of Coinfield uh, clearly has a close partnership with Ripple. They've talked in meetings. Uh, they see the bigger picture. Well, they, I'm sure they know the bigger picture. They're not guessing at this point. They have been told, likely, how the plan is going to roll out or understand at least Ripple's plan uh, and see the potential for the future, uh, not only for Ripple, but for their own business, Coinfield. And you got to think about the Ripple project and how well they've been doing over the last several months. Let's call it two years. Then you see this. So this from Crypto Ren at Crypto Ren 11 on Twitter. And he asks, why hold XRP? Well, 640 out of 2,000 token projects have stopped coding, guys. So, you know, when you're invested in whatever coin you you think is great today because it pumped 14%. Oh, look at this one. Centrality pumped 100%. 100.21%. Up to 0.483 cents. You got to think to yourself, which of these projects are even going to be around next year? Okay, think about this for a second. 640 out of 2,000 token projects have stopped coding. So this uh, retweeted from Hiles Files and his ban of blockchain heretics. So these people haven't even coded a single line of code in 2019, despite many still having a market cap. Lots of bag holding suckers. So yeah, these guys are still on coin market cap. Um, their coins are still trading, yet they have not coded one thing in 2019. Guys, this is part of the ICO craze. Once they realized that the SEC was going to come down on them and that they weren't going to be able to reap the profits that they were able to back in 2017, the coding stopped. Well, guys, not with Ripple and not with XRP. You know it's a solid company. You know it has a future for so many reasons. 
So guys, don't be a sucker uh, as at Michael Hiles on Twitter uh, doesn't want you to be. Don't be one of those bag holding suckers. Uh, make sure if you do hold some kind of cryptocurrency that isn't uh, something that is well known and that isn't something that is very mainstream that you have a hunch on. Make sure these companies are still coding. Make sure that work is still being done because seriously, if you haven't been coding in 2019, the year's almost over. It's been nine, 10 months. We're in the 10th month of 2019. You are likely going to lose your cryptocurrency. Uh, and we talked about this before with regards to these uh, co these coins, like 95% of them are gonna go to the wayside and where is that money gonna flood into? Well, you think it'll just be taken out of the market? I'm sure some of it will be, but a lot of it will go back into the cryptocurrencies that have a reputation, uh, a name brand, trust. Let's call it the top 10 on coin market cap just to, uh, or top, top 15, 20, whatever it is. But there's there are only a few really. And I'm not saying every single one of these top 20 or whatever, but what I'm saying is there's a handful that you can trust. You just have to do your own research. Finally, guys, I saw this on Twitter uh, from Rachel Lee at LeeR912 on Twitter. Haven't seen much posted from Rachel Lee in a while. Uh, so she posts July. President Trump and the Treasury Secretary Mnuchin tweets against Bitcoin. So that's XRP positive. Then in August, the Bank of England governor calls for a digital currency to replace the US dollar. If you did your research, you would know it's going to be XRP. So September was for the spring announcement, which equals huge. And I think she's talking about the investment announcement. So this was tweeted just on October 2nd, which was yesterday. Uh, and she retweeted this tweet from June 26th of this year, June 26th, 2019. Okay, and uh, if you follow me here, in this June 26th tweet, she screen grabs a couple of other tweets from the past. This one here from uh, November 2018, suggesting this, during a discussion with an ex-Ripple employee, doesn't want to be named, so Rachel Lee obviously knows people in the know, utility assets like XRP will be valued differently from other cryptocurrencies on coin market cap. Nonsense of market caps plus supply, this will change soon. Daily update of actual supply, not in escrow or wallets plus volume. So guys, as you know, there was a huge controversy about coin market cap and how they uh, list cryptocurrencies and how they value them. And so Rachel Lee was saying that, you know, and this was back in November 2018, that uh, cryptocurrencies that are uh, considered utility assets will be valued differently and we are going to start seeing uh, a new way to um, uh, monitor value or, or at least calculate value on these utility assets versus cryptocurrencies that'll be labeled securities. So that was back from November 2018. Then she tweets out this from June 26, 2019, so a few months ago. And this from Coindesk, Coin Market Cap is snapping up a firm building algorithms said to provide a true price for cryptocurrencies. A true price in quotes for cryptocurrencies. So Coin Market Cap, obviously, uh, another company in the space, they're snapping up a firm, building a specific algorithm that will indeed calculate the true price, the true, so not using this uh, BS formula that Coin Market Cap has been using. Uh, and you know, a lot of people have been saying that market cap is not really a good indicator of how big or how small a cryptocurrency is. There will be a different way to value certain cryptocurrencies versus other cryptocurrencies, but I thought this, this main point was very interesting utility assets will be valued differently and there's a reason for that they will actually be utilized in the ecosystem they will actually have a real value no longer a speculative value and i'm so curious to see what this new firm is and what these algorithms are i guess we'll just have to wait anyways guys it gives me confidence that xrp value is indeed much higher than it actually is right now listed on coin market cap we just have to see that volume flowing through xrp we just have to see that real world utility mass adoption Adoption of the XRP blockchain is inevitable, as Bob Rass here even suggests, the CEO of Coinfield. And I think it's quite obvious that we will see uh, the price reflect that once all these plans come to light. Anyways, that's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.